Hi there everyone, it is I, the Measy Man, and today we're going to be looking at Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay reveal. Before we begin, uh, please do note that this video may contain content inappropriate for children. Visit www.esrb.org for rating information, as well as if you are 17 years old and under or younger than 17 years old, then I recommend that you get parental guidance before you watch this video. If you do not have parental guidance and you're 17 years old or younger, do not watch this video if you do not have parental guidance. If you're 17 years years old or younger. So let's get right into it. Always clear. Go! Welcome to the gameplay demo walkthrough of CD Projekt Red's upcoming title, Cyberpunk 2077. A narrative-driven, open-world RPG set in a dark version of the future. Before we start, a small but important disclaimer. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. In Cyberpunk 2077, you can fully customize your character using a deep customization system. For this demo, we're going to play a female. Keep in mind that what you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the released game. This is an RPG, so before we get into our appearance... Okay, before I go any further with the trailer, I just want to point out some details for y'all. For those that are not, not necessarily aware, and that is, um, you know, we've got this record ID over here to the left, ID type, you know, first name, last name, and so on. I do know for a fact that the main character in Cyberpunk 2077, him or her, their name will be V, like a code name or, or, or a nickname named V, and that's the uh, Elias, I'm not sure what Elias means, but moving on, we have the date of birth, uh, with this demo they're going to use a female character, and so on and so forth. I do wonder though, do some of the choices that we make at the beginning of the game like this, like, you know, our ID type, like maybe like our blood type or something like that, or or like, you know, our childhood hero, hero and so on and so forth, like our backstory, I wonder if we can actually customize that and that has impl implications on, you know, the game when we start the game. Kind of like if you've ever played Dragon Age Origins, kind of like that, but moving on. We need to define our backstory. What you choose here will unlock different possibilities later in the game. Also, you can use an array of different... So here, of course, we just have the eyes, you know, eye color, the nose, mouth, jaw. You know, you know, just like in regular games, they just, you know, pull it up and down and so on and so on and so forth. They'll have hair, other features, you know, with customization will be like, you know, earrings, makeup... Uh, you know, eyebrows. Um, this game has is about you know being a cyberpunk, you know, character. So there's going to be pop, you know, more than likely, you know, obviously with this character, there's going to be like cybernetics, um, and so on and so forth. You have cool hairstyles, and so on, and scars as well. Different options to modify how you look. These include body type, hairstyle, tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. But visuals aren't everything. So interesting, they do have glow color of your tattoos, which is like a neon tattoo. That is so cool. Um, that's what it sounds like. Um, and you also have, you know, like I said, a cybernetics with a surface wiring down here in the other category. Um, eye mods and skin mods. My guess, I'm not sure what that is exactly. It, I, I guess that's a color of this of the eye on the skin i'm not sure but maybe it's a cybernetic you know implants that are going on but we'll have to see and of course bodily scars makeup skin tone and many many more but visuals aren't everything you'll also be able to custom okay here we just have like you know with since this is a role-playing game 
we have strength, constitution, which constitution is going to be the main character's health in the video game, intelligence, tech, reflexes, and the cool stat, which to my understanding, the cool stat comes directly from the cyberpunk novels and that's a stat that they got from the that the video game developers are getting from the novels and they're actually putting cool into the video game as an actual stat like that that the cool stat will matter and have impl implications on the gameplay and so on which is very interesting um and of course intelligence will probably have something to do with persuasion tech will probably have something to do with you know how well the character is with electronics and cybernetics something like that reflexes will probably be how fast they the main character can move and uh, agility that type of that type of thing and strength will be probably have something to do with how hard the main character can do damage uh, with belay and maybe maybe you know um, ranged weapons like you know pistols and shotguns and so forth but that but the ranged weapons might be a tech skill i don't know this is definitely a work in early work in progress optimize your initial attribute setup you'll notice we didn't pick a class cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game this demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named Tiba, are hired to find and retrieve a missing person. A girl whose locator in- They're trying to make this, you know, a realistic type of game in my opinion, from what I've seen so far, and it's in the free state of North California. Ooh, so does that mean that there's a South California? I don't know in the like the lore of the video game I don't know but it sounds really interesting I've never read the cyberpunk 2077 novels but well ha I'll have to see what the lore is like in this video game runner named Tiba are hired to find and retrieve a missing person a girl whose locator implant went dark All is clear go 1237 on your right girls inside been down and out. Better know Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person role-playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. I just want to say that, folks, for all those that are worried about, you know, third-person and the first-person uh, point of view going on in this video game, in my opinion, I wouldn't worry, not at all, because Cyberpunk 2077 is not which are one two and three they're not the same type of game in my opinion i've played very little of witcher 2 i've played a lot of witcher 1 i just never finished the game and, but and i've never played witcher 3 but and my experience in video games since for i mean years I've played been playing video games for years since since i was very very young i'm 25 years old now so you can kind of understand the picture there uh First person seems like the route to go in Cyberpunk 2077, but I wouldn't be surprised at all that once Cyberpunk 2077 gets released and, and you know, mods start to come out uh, for, for Cyberpunk 2077, the video game, uh, once the mods start time to come out, we'll probably see a third person point of view mod from a modder. Uh, in the future after the game gets released, so I would expect that. Full access in 2.8 seconds. Breached it. Your turn. Orale, lead the way, I know. Alarms neutralized. Oh, are we fucking late? Is that her? That our target, V? Room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Okay, things are about to get heated. We'll take a reflex booster that temporarily allows us to use the Kereznikov ability. She 
he shoots this character and the way the character just kind of falls. It's very fluid animation going on, definitely. Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? We're on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of eddies. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He wants us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat gear, a local gang stole from the Militech Megacorp. We'll be able to approach this job from a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. It's out here. Hi, um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, spell! On the horn? No. Amateur hour, Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dog. Got a real whack tape, change your fucking life. Crime is a common occurrence. So if you notice there, um, there was a moment uh, in this gameplay footage that this just this random character uh, named Stavon, uh, that he's got something that's going to change our life, basically, according to the character. Um, the dialogue options come up that says, I'm interested, or we can choose no thanks, or in this case, uh, within the gameplay, the main character d uh, decided to just ignore what the, the other character was saying and just moved on. So that's very interesting. This reminds me of Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, if you've ever played Dragon Age Inquisition, there's a mechanic in there where you can just walk away from conversations, which is is immersive. I mean, human beings do ignore there are times when human beings do ignore each other, so... Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. Life here is not easy. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. V! I can release... How to play out with Dex? It's all here. All right. I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Vicky, spry as ever, you old Ripper. Hey, v. Thanks. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vex shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dex Deshaun. The Dex Deshaun? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quick, Ryan Vic. 
I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Last time, I swear. Now sit. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. This is what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner... Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. Link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Karoshi Tech. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. You're always going on and on. Um, don't be me now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Good, so let's test it. I'm linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort. Maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look to you? With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. This is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. It might take you a while to adjust, but... This time's really the charm with anything, really. Okay, right here, there's uh, resistances to what we saw previously. So the, this character right here, since we just got the upgrade, he has one weak spot. And this could be, we could possibly need to get another upgrade within the game to see what that weak spot actually, that one weak spot that he actually has, to be able to see that. Um, but we will have to see. This time's really the charm with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit, Victor. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. Go on, kid. Show them what you can do. And once you hit the big time, don't forget where you came from. While some Ripper docks operate legally, others provide black market services. For the right price, they can even offer to install illegal, military-grade cyberware. Left a few minutes ago. Said he'd wait outside. Well, well. Hiroshi. Mm -hmm. Well, Vic's got a soft spot for you, Heine. Come on, how about you use them fancy-ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, 
just watch the big job. This is the Hey, Karnal! Hey, you got a problem? This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Something tells me there wasn't no coincidence, huh? Jackie's car is a super-powered sports car running on Chew 2, the super fuel of the future. The players can explore Night City freely, in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Haida. Watch it now. Got it. All right. I think we got rid of him. That was intense. Okay, so that car chase seemed a bit unrealistic to me. I wouldn't necessarily say that the video game developers are going for a realistic feel, but for the most part in this gameplay reveal, gameplay reveal, I can definitely see how this could be a actual reality within the year 2077 here, either here on Earth or maybe a human colony on another planet. Devils. Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, think they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But... Who knows? Real messed up pendejo, Scars. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City. But the mega corporations are the real showroom. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area, and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot corporal water. Desperate. Then you think you can use that. See if I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful. Especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, Let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There. Let's take a closer look. Composite armor. Car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech. No doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah. Gotta do this. But don't you move a damn muscle. Not unless I start, that is. These guys are levels higher than we are. Let's try to approach them carefully. Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. What? Wanted... You're smart. What, you just blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Calm the hell down. What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole. You're insane. Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected Come us on. to a kind of lie detector program 
The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. Yep, just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, folks, we don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the consequences Got could be dire. To do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> you got nothing on me! Nothing! Won't get away with this, you bitch! You're dead! Somebody shut him up! Take me home! Now! All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Credship, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the game. By choosing to call the Militech agent earlier, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Of course, we could try and keep the money, but that would mean we'd have to take the merchandise by force, which requires a lot of firepower. Looked a little fishy, you know? A couple tents, no signal, so I stay put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. Mm-hmm. Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpse don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. Gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV is just begging them to try. How you wanna do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the bomb? plan's simple. We pay with the Corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but. You're calling this one. For this demo, let's try oh, the more diplomatic approach. Uh, Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. <laughs> Don't know you. Wanna talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. Damn well prepared. All strapped with military gear. Psycho borgs chromed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Should be fun. the guys we're about to meet are dangerous. They are members of the Maelstrom gang, and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world's standards. On their path to becoming machines, they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti-personnel mine. Shrapnel's better. Hmm, my favorite. And goons getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned All Foods Meat Factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Seriously? Maybe we should have taken them by surprise. A little late for regress like that. Got us in their sights now. Just keep moving. Stay cool. 
They're just trying to spook us. Remember, we've chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully this will go yeah, fast and easy. This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. What? Looking to buy a bot. Model MTOD-12. Looks like a spider. Couch. Planted. Yo, Kurt. Peek around the corner, see if we got anything like that. Well, shit. Sit down. I'll stand. Can't move on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right, fucking bravo. Come on, lighten up. Have a whiff. Better. Now we can talk. The bot. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out, state of the art this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Bells and whistles, though. Dynamic camo armor and motor impulses rival in that of the human nervous system. Its actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber, and it can go anywhere. Literally. Watch this. Fully integrated link, too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Hey, up and let's get the fuck out of here. The buck. I'll take it. Two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? Got 50 large on this crutch. And you positively reek of Militech. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun, dreads, gold plate, fat old fuck, that him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot. Be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k? Creds on this. Move it. Not the smoothest of deals, but it worked out in the end, right? Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agent contained a virus which off. fried their systems. The virus the Royce, their leader, is making a break for it. Had to end this way. Before we figure out a way to leave, let's grab the splinter that controls the bot from one of these dead maelstroms. So here, like a, a lot of RPGs, you'll have your bot from one of these dead have you know loot that you can pick up you know like a lot of role-playing games and there even is a range i'm assuming in the bullets only going to go to you know a certain range would be my guess i've got um you know like headgear uh cybernetics for the face and so on the body chest jacket so on and so forth we got all these inventory things that we can equip to our our, our character main character in cyberpunk 2077 it's going to be awesome this game is totally going to be awesome i i believe The inspection system allows us to take a closer look at the splinter. You can inspect specific items. So, 
from what I'm saying of this, it's basically like this chip thing they put in their heads, and now she's able to control this bot thing with this control chip that she has, the spider bot. So that's really, that's awesome. This game is like so many types of other games put into like one game. ...to reveal details that can help in solving quests. And even movies, like, like other movies as well. Except, of course, this is, except, of course, this is not a movie, this is a video game. This, uh, weapon here, this pistol that she has, it has 79 DPS, for those that don't know what that means, that means damage per second, so that's kind of like a, an average, so to speak, uh, you know, like a base average without buffs or debuffs. Um, of course, there could be buffs or debuffs included with the pistol, uh, that could factor in the DPS. Um, but 79 DPS, that's what you're looking at with that weapon. Uh, with personal stats, uh, like we saw earlier within the uh, trailer, or the gameplay reveal, uh, her damage with melee, 50, range, 95, pretty self-explanatory. The more armor she adds to, her, to the character, the more physical, thermal, EMP, and chemical she will have, or the main character will have or the main character will not have. It all depends upon the choices that are going on. And according to this gameplay reveal, this main character is level two. So once my understanding is that once we reach uh, as gamers we reach the a certain point into the you know the late part of the of the video game, uh, there will be, you know, our main characters are probably gonna look like crazy cool and crazy just jacked up with like you know you know you know jackets and armors and you know a whole bunch of awesome buffs and and so on so okay let's equip the splint to our chipware with this done the bot will now follow us wherever we go all right what else do we have here nice a street modified tech shot tech weapons fire rounds that penetrate walls and other types of cover they also have an alternate fire mode that allows you to power up shots and deal more damage it looks like there are several ways out of this room like those gates for example however you'd have to be a skilled net runner to hack into this terminal Luckily, our engineering skills should allow us to disassemble that maintenance panel so we can get through the door. Got it. There are many skills right in the game that players can apply in solving problems. The engineering skill can be used to fix, disassemble, and disarm devices blocking Production your path. line passes through here. And we're gonna pass through with it. So, from this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes ricochet off the walls of course and they can hit the enemy but as the main character you can actually use that as a game mechanic to target the enemy as the bullets are going off the wall like you know with the angle and everything which is so that is completely awesome game mechanic I don't think if I remember correctly I pretty sure I'm very certain that I have never seen that in a video game so this sold this is very in Innovative. This allows players to bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover. This is another targeting system that will reveal enemies behind walls. Paired with the penetrating rounds of our tech shotgun, it's a deadly combination.
Looks like we found some loot. This is a smart gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the game, allowing the bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. You're the toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that. Jesus Christ! My, my legs! 